So, welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 29th of October 2022. It's 10 o'clock. I've forgotten to get a beer in. However, I'm now using detail again, so we're going to get this sort of thing happening. Right. If you haven't seen this before, this is me. My name is Roger. Basically moaning on about my last week. So there's tech, there's beer, there's politics with a small p and there are various other things as well so what do we usually start with we start with a number of things that are constant um there is the word and phrase of the week there is the app of the week and um there are the things of the week and i throw in um as well the rona thing of the week if for no other reason than how the rona has changed our lives so the word and phrase of the week and the rona thing of the week are related they are rishi and rishi rush now as you're probably aware we have yet another new prime minister in the uk um rishi and i can't remember his surname but i'm not going to do as badly as the american president mr biden or president biden i should say but it's been wall to wall and it hasn't been an easy journey uh, since he became prime minister there are things with the home office as well yeah, and that's going to go on and on and on um the rona thing of the week the rishi rush um that is my name um for his eat out the help out thing now i used to go to lunch when i was in work at one o'clock because I felt it was less busy and it was a shorter afternoon and all that sort of stuff. As soon as he introduced the eat out to help out, the well spoons near where I work, the tumble in, it just completely packed out. And you had to go at 12 or even slightly before 12 to get anywhere to sit down. That was the Rishi Rush. And I still go at 12 o'clock to lunch now. So that's had a fairly big effect on my life. You know. Mind you. Um, I wouldn't mind another Rishi Rush. Or eat out to help out too. Um, because times are hard. And because times are hard. I can't see us having that at all. But there you go. So that was the word. Uh, phrase of the week. And the Rona of the week. Rishi, Rishi Sunak? Yeah, Rishi Sunak and the Rishi Rush. The app of the week. Um, your own server. Cloud computing is computing on someone else's computer. Um, your own computer is probably the best thing on the cloud. And may I recommend Umbral? Uh, yeah, if you have a Raspberry Pi 4, and some bits and pieces and connect it to the internet you can now have your own home server which will do crypto and it will do photos and it will do storage and it will do tour it'll do a lot of things to be perfectly honest like own drive it's not like one drive but open source it got updated this week the app store is now open to anyone who can meet the uh, apis I've had it running for ages. I really like it. Although I think there's still a shortage of Raspberry Pis. But you can run it on practically anything. Although, to be honest, the Raspberry Pi is probably what you're looking for because it's far more efficient and means less electricity, which means it's cheaper if you can get hold of it. Hmm. And the thing of the week. The thing of the week is finally leaves. I mean, I've seen a lot of trees turn colour, the leaves, but they've all started to fall off now and there are leaves all over the place. And in work this week, we had a person with a leaf blower, um, and petrol powered, um, blowing the leaves up. I might actually take a plastic bag and get those because leaves make great leaf mulch, which makes great compost. It's still very mild, though. It is still very, very mild. Uh, but then again, what can you do? Anyway, let's look back on the last week. Um, Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings in spoons. 
what an eclectic mix of people you have your I don't want to say hardened drinkers. You have your drinking enthusiasts. You do have your hardened drinkers. You have your, let's go for breakfast in spoons, people. You see a huge amount of full Englishes going back and forth. Um, and then you get your senior citizens coming out for coffee. I really like spoons on a Saturday morning, just watching the people go by. And um, Twitter. Although I'll come back to Twitter later. Um... And the thing is, everyone seems to move the tables around. Um, small tables become large tables, large tables become extra large tables, and no one ever seems to put those tables back. I wonder what staff think of that. Probably. Hmm. Um, and of course, they have to clean them up as well. I say hats off to the spoon staff because they do a very good job. Uh, anyway, Sunday, as you can see, from my head, I shaved it again. Although I didn't miss a bit and in work I had a scissors and cut a little bit extra off. It's difficult to see if you get the whole lot. Uh, but it does save me at about a tenner a month, which is another thing uh, that the Rona bought us. Times march on. Okay, um, Sunday. Sunday I was in the fridge and I found a bar of chocolate, a year out of date, and a beer, um, 11 months out of date. And when I say out of date, I say best before. Best before. They were still fine. Um, it wasn't a use-by date, it was a best before date. And, um, well, I shouldn't let the fridge get in that state anyway, but just because it's best before doesn't mean it's not good i mean most beers attenuate um this still had a pretty hoppy taste uh, thank you aldi and it was aldi chocolate as well in fact it was an aldi bottom of the fridge job completely ah uh, there you go um monday um rishi came back i think i've already mentioned him so i won't go into too much detail about that but yeah it's been wall to wall and pmqs on wednesday was interesting yeah as politics in this country are mm, there you go um and also on monday well i'm a great fan of windows weekly and i'm a great fan of the all about microsoft blogger mary Jo foley i like her cat sarachi ace which if you don't know is a form of japanese hop and um She's on Untapped, and we do share messages occasionally. Um, she is moving from ZDNet, or in this country, as we say, ZDNet. And she's moving to, I can't remember the name of the company, but she's still going to be blogging. Um, but it's more of a sort of consultancy role, and she's taking Sirachi Ace with her. He's a bit of a boy, to be perfectly honest. I think he's doing the urban feline blogging beat. So um, apparently um, this episode of Windows Weekly, which I'm going to probably listen to in about two hours, will be her last. And I think they're looking for someone new. You will be missed, Mary Jo. I think you were absolutely excellent. And um, your post on Untapped, well worth seeing. Okay, a Tuesday. Um, so we had Apple TV, um, we had Ventura, we had 16.1, we had practically everything updated apart from 15.7.1, which didn't come out until Thursday stroke Friday. Um, so it's been a big, a very big Apple update. Um, currently doing this on the Mac um, and I'm going to Ventura tomorrow just to make sure things work. I did have some bugs with 16.1. Uh, the Movie Pro app, which I was using yesterday on a 10s and my 13 Pro, no sound. Other apps, um, video recording apps, they were fine. This wasn't, so I pinged off a note to them. And I see by their Twitter, they have been having problems with 16. So far, I haven't had a result, which is a shame. I do like even if it's just a holding email or something coming back to you but there you go tuesday 
Tuesday. Um, because Ventura came out, the Belkin MagSafe mount for cameras on your Mac came out. I waited a while. I waited a while. And now probably won't get it until the middle to the end of November. But it looks really good because, well, apart from detail and continuity camera, you can slip your camera, or slip your phone. I uh, hope I don't get me scratching my nose as the main picture of the video again. Um, and you can slip it on the back of the screen. So I'm looking forward to that. Obviously not cheap at all. Uh, and also on Tuesday, a new minister. Uh, in fact, two new ministers. Um, and I didn't really get to grips with our last ministers. Um, plus c'est change, plus c'est la même change. The more that things change, the more they stay the same. Oh, and I should have gone into do not disturb mode. But there you go. Anyway, um, Umbral update on Wednesday. I've already mentioned Umbral. It is excellent. It is really, really good. Um, uh, Tuesday, sorry, Thursday, Elon and Twitter. Elon and Twitter. Yeah. Um, I don't think it'll be that bad. Um, I think he, well, he, oh, I can take it over. I grab the money and then, yeah, well, you're going to do it. Um, I was listening to the Daily Tech News show. They were saying possibly 12% increase in daily active users this time next year. I suspect he will be very sensible about it. And, um, yeah, I think that'll probably be about it. Um, Friday, 15.7.1. So that went on the iPods. And uh, I had a day's leave on Friday. Went to Newport. Bristol Beer Factory did a tap takeover in Tiny Rebel in Newport. So had a day out. Um, I was worried initially whether they would actually have all the beers on. So I was there at about 8 o'clock looking through the window, couldn't see any of them. When I got there at 12, they actually open at um, 11, uh, they had all the cask on. And then about half an hour later, they had five keg on. And I didn't really notice until I was looking at the photos this morning. They all seem to be vegan friendly and gluten free. My next door neighbour's gluten free or gluten intolerant, I should say. So I need to let her know about that. It was really good. And their beers, their beers were hop forward. And um, tiny rebels have gone sort of fruit and additive forward. So it was a nice change. And while I was there, they were putting in faster internet. Now, whether the punters get that faster internet, I'm not sure. And the guy behind the bar wasn't sure either. But the last time I was there, I did a feedback form saying, you need faster internet. Compare and contrast yourselves with our friends in the John Wallace Linton. I'll probably go back there next week and just have a little look, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, um, I think that's about 13 minutes, which is the average for this sort of thing. Um, the clocks go back tonight. We'll be on um, Greenwich Mean Time. That's probably winter. Um, although, as I've said, it is still mild. Um, and bye-bye. Um,